Thank you for that lovely welcome, Mrs. Johnson. And I just appreciate you all so much for inviting me today. Um, she probably thought she was going to stick me, but I'm from the farm. We don't get hurt on the farm, do we, Marilyn? <laughs> okay. Not how did he die, but how did he live? Not what did he gain, but what did he give? These are the things that measure the worth of a man as a man, regardless of birth. Not what was his station, but had he a heart? And how did he play his God-given part? Was he ready with a word of good cheer to bring back a smile to banish a tear? Not what was his church, not what was his creed, but had he befriended those really in need not what did the sketch in the newspaper say, but how many were sorry when he passed away. These are the things that measure the worth of a man as a man, regardless of birth. Arthur Anonymous. Happy Easter, y'all. <laughs> y'all look so pretty. Y'all about like me, got on your Easter today and got it gonna wear it tomorrow. <laughs> That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> Greetings, Savannah State University Dublin Lawrence alumni chapter, students, friends, family, and esteemed guests. It is indeed my pleasure to speak to you this evening on the celebration of your 29th annual scholarship banquet. That is truly amazing. Give yourselves a hand. I bring you greetings on behalf of President Cheryl D. Dozier and our Savannah State University National Alumni Association, President Clyde Newton. I have the honor of having with me today, whom you will hear from later, our Vice President of University of Advancement, Mr. Philip Adams, and our Director of Development, the Money Man, Mr. Phil Cole. Mr. Cole? Okay. Oh, he's back there. <laughs> and I also have the honor of having with me my lovely sister, class of 1980, Marilyn Thompson, and professor of biology at Savannah State, in addition to five or six other jobs. She keeps the wealth in the family. Okay. Our theme, Marching in the Right Direction for 127 Years cultivating bright minds for global leadership, encourages us to reflect on our past and continue to build on our future. With reference to our first president, Major Richard R. Wright, Sr., I must start by giving credence to him, therefore noting where it all began and where we are now. In December of 1866, when little Richard was 11 years old, his mother Harriet and siblings walked 186 miles from Cuthbert, Georgia to Atlanta, Georgia. They walked. Our students today, Mr. Enoch, you may attest to this, don't want to walk to class. They have chartered buses to take them to class, am I right? We've come so far. See, his mother had heard about a school for freed Negro boys at the store school an institution by the American Missionary Association, now called Atlanta University. She knew that in order for her son to meet his highest potential and fulfill his God-given part, she needed to help him get an education to move him and so many of us forward. Major Wright was graduated valedictorian in the first historic baccalaureate class of Atlanta University in 1876. Major Wright had a vision. In the book, Tell Them We Are Rising, the history of Savannah State University, Arthur Dr. Charles J. Elmore writes, and I quote, Wright was a former slave, soldier, journalist, politician, educator, and banker who guided 
the Georgia State Industrial College for Colored Youth for 30 years. He withstood the ravages of slavery and the post-Reconstruction era to rise above the institution of slavery to help black people rise upward in the American society." Unquote. Dr. Elmore went on to say that Wright had a vision and he uh, had possessed this extraordinary singular insight into the problems of his people. This vision came at a time of controversy and struggle and as a result of the first Morrill Land Grant Act of 1862 and the second Morrill Land Grant Act of 1890, Georgia State Industrial College for Colored Youth was born in 1891. The site chosen was selected because it was thought at the time to have no monetary value. They thought it to be swamp land. Now Savannah State University sits on approximately 200 acres, some of the most desired property in Savannah and Thunderbolt, Georgia, and is the only institution in the state of Georgia to boast marshfront property, currently worth millions of dollars. That's do a hand. <laughs> See, when they gave us this land, it was considered worthless, but Major Wright knew differently. He saw its value. He knew that if, we could, if he could cultivate educational programs in agriculture, vocational arts, as, as well as Greek, Latin, political economy, mathematics, and English, it would change lives and increase the potential of his people, and surely we would rise. I thought it befitting to honor Major Wright by reciting the poem, The Measure of a Man, Author Anonymous, because these are the things that measure the worth of a man as a man, regardless of his birth. So today, as we have reflected on our past, I now want to shift to share some good news of how we, as a university, are continuing to cultivate bright minds for global leadership. Our mission in part states, Savannah State University the oldest historically black university in the state of Georgia develops productive members of a global society through high quality instruction, scholarship, research, service, and community involvement, unquote. Savannah State University's fall 2016 enrollment was over 4,900 students an increase of 3.2% over the previous fall. The institution continues to have an overwhelming response from prospective students who want to be a part of the Tiger family. The most significant enrollment increases are in the categories of dual enrollment and out-of-state students. Due to the recent changes that allow students from Florida, South Carolina, and Alabama to receive in-state tuition, student enrollment there again is on the rise. Last summer, the institution broke ground on two new science buildings, a $20 million state-of-the-art marine sciences facility with deep water access to allow for expanded research hours, making our program more attractive to students wanting a degree in marine sciences. The institution also broke ground on a two-story, 30,000 square foot science and technology building, which will house engineering technology and chemistry laboratories and programs. Both buildings are expected to open this year. Savannah State continues to provide market-relevant majors so that students are prepared for both today's and tomorrow's global careers. The institution is attracting more and more students who are interested in the business major, global logistics, 
and international business, the first of its kind in the state. The institution's proximity to the ports makes this degree a natural fit for SSU and related industries in our area. SSU is the only institution in the state of Georgia to offer an undergraduate degree in Homeland Security and Emergency Management. Which, allows, which also complements the bustling port industry, as well as a military installation in, installations in South Carolina and Florida. The institution's forensic science students have one of the most technically advanced crime labs where they can actually apply what they are learning in a classroom to real life situations. For instance, in their studies of cranial features, depth marker measurements, and the process of creating full-size, three-dimensional renderings of a person's face using skeletal clues, they recently unveiled a project of facial reconstruction sculptures. After a 30-year hiatus, Savannah State University is excited about the return of the School of Teacher Education. <laughs> Students majoring in selected STEM fields may choose the certification track or the Bachelor of Science in Education degree track. For those who have already received a bachelor's degree in a STEM field, and aren't fully satisfied in their career, get this, they can come back and we will prepare them to go into the classroom to teach. Journalism and mass communications continues to be one of the institution's top five majors in terms of student enrollment, behind biology and criminal justice. Recently, the institution unveiled a new 1.2 million dollar digital TV studio with an anchor desk studio, control room, and interview studio. I can now get to my calling, y'all. <laughs> On March 23rd, staff of Savannah State University's Department of Journalism and Mass Communication was honored at the Georgia State Capitol for their work in film and television. As well as for their dedication to Savannah's Feed the Hungry. The Savannah State University Army and Naval ROTC programs commission future leaders as second lieutenants and ensigns. Two students from Savannah State's Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps, NROTC, have been selected for advanced training in the U.S. Navy's Nuclear Propulsion Program. Kurt Lynn, a senior mathematics major, and Austin Great Garvey, a Homeland Security and Emergency Management graduate, successfully completed the intensive process. Lynn and Garvey are now among only nine in Savannah State University's history to be chosen for this elite training. And this is the first time SSU's NROTC has had two in the same year. The very competitive nuclear propulsion program puts officers with engineering, mathematics, or sciences background on track to become commanders and lead crews aboard ships and submarines. Recently, Savannah State University is the first ever university to offer a certificate in global citizenship, which prepares students to be volunteers with the Peace Corps. As an official preparatory institution, students can gain the knowledge needed to volunteer and become pre-qualified for the federal government and the Peace Corps, should they choose. 
Preparation sectors were matched with Savannah State University's majors and training hours for the Peace Corps certification. Mind you, students do not have to join the Peace Corps in order to obtain this certification. However, completion of the certificate gives them preferential treatment for, the number, for a number of the federal jobs and counts as training hours for the Peace Corps should they decide to join. In December 2016, four students completed the training and this May, four additional students will complete training. Miles Lamar, class of 2014, who studied computer science technology at Savannah State University, has began volunteering in Tanzania teaching chemistry and mathematics to grades nine and 10. For the second consecutive year, Savannah State students received the Spirit of Professionalism Award at the HBCU Career Development Marketplace in Washington, DC. This award is given to college students who exemplify professionalism in being on time to conference sessions, actively engaging in networking, displaying school spirit, and conducting themselves as professionals throughout the week's events. They also won the oratory competition, and five students received job or internship offers on the spot. SSU's Model African Union team participated in the 15th annual National Model African Union Conference in Washington, D.C. this past February. The conference was hosted by Howard University in collaboration with the African Union Mission in Washington, D.C. and member state embassies. Team members served as delegates from the nations of Benin and Brute. Burundi in the simulation of the African Union. Student Scone Franklin won the Committee Leadership Award and the Outstanding Delegation Committee Award for his representation on Benin in the Peace and Security Committee. And student Sebastian Guthrie won the Outstanding Delegation Committee Award for his representation of Benin in the Executive Council Committee. The Savannah State University cheerleading team won the level four division, open four category, at Cheer Sport Nationals. The team is the first time that an HBCU has won a national cheer sport event. SSU received a patent for a new chemical compound invented by Dr. Carla Sue Marriott, Associate Professor of Chemistry and Forensic Science. She produced the compounds under a National Institutes of Health grant. The synthesized molecules have medical and pharmaceutical possibilities in the areas of neurodegenerative disorders, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as ALS. There are also connections to cancerous tumors and drug addiction. These are just a few of the major highlights and accomplishments of our great Savannah State University. I would love to share more accolades with you However, I feel as though if I go any further, you all will throw me out and I'd never be invited back again to eat some of that fried chicken Reverend Elgin cooked that I didn't get today. So I say it is because of the generosity and support of alumni like all of you that Savannah State University continues to be a beacon of higher education in Georgia and throughout the nation. In fact, our global footprint continues to expand on the international stage. Thanks to partnerships with 30 foreign universities and study abroad programs in 14 countries 
around the world. In closing, Savannah State University has been marching in the right direction for 127 years.